Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Opinions Matter and uh, iPad OS 13 is going to revolutionize this whole experience of uh, mobile computing. Uh, you might not be seeing me in the picture because it's not about me. It's all about iPad iOS 13. To record this episode, I'm going to use my DJI Osmo Action. So ton of stuff, uh, ton of accessories. Um, as you can see, I have the mouse here. Uh, so your mouse is going to work. I have few hard drives, uh, which is like backed up to a Windows, but I had formatted them in XFAT. It was compatible with Mac OS. Uh, so we are going to look into that. And uh, then we have uh, a SanDisk uh, SSD, and this should work also. Couple of accessories, and we are going to see whether this performs well. Uh, it's a beta version, which means that it is not yet uh, in uh, outside, like uh, it's not yet available for the consumers. And you will see that they have now uh, developed a small pane on the left hand corner and you've got more icons so you just swipe in and this thing pops on from the left swipe back and you get more icons now you can rearrange them obviously but now you can hold a lot of stuff at first what we are going to see is uh, some new features that they did uh, in the photo application you can also concentrate on the right but uh, by the way notice that uh, the aspect ratio is not getting red again on the iOS 13, I'm pretty sure this is, they are going to fix this uh, once it launches for the consumers. As you can see, there are like, uh, so it's not playing 16 is to 9 on a full screen. And I did try, so as you can see, I'm going to display and brightness and uh, SDR is actually on. Yeah, but I mean like there is uh, no way I can change the aspect ratio and redo the aspect ratio on this one so uh that's that's a big problem now in the settings also uh you're going to see that the light and the dark version of it so that is the light mode and uh, if you want to go to dark mode same again go ahead and click on this dark mode and true tone is already on so true tone is going to be there night shift and all that stuff uh that's all good stuff so that you can see later on i think something that uh, actually will help is uh photo and video editing so that's anton from tech 5 and uh, we are going to edit this picture a bit so previously when you shoot something in portrait you only get shots like this right so i mean like this was what and this is shot on an iphone so this was what like we you could have done but uh right now if i go out here i can actually write down something which i'm not going to do and then i can go out here and uh, change if i want but uh, I can actually go ahead and select my exposure. So as you can see, it's highly exposed. I'm going to bring my exposure a little bit below. Definition. Now, let's see definition. What does definition do? Noise reduction. So let's see whether we have any noise. Of course, this doesn't have any noise, but wow, look at that. It literally takes off the noise from his skin, right? It makes it soft, but this is not realistic. So. That's it, the photo is saved. Look how beautiful the photo looks now. So that's editing on an iPad and uh, just with built-in editing, you can do a lot of stuff on your iPad. So I'm going to use this spinning hard drive. Uh, I'm going to dock it in this uh, section out here and let's see what happens. Uh, you will see that the lights are blinking out here already, which means that it's reading my drive. But where will it be? It's going to be in your files and folders. So once you go out here, uh, let me see whether this this thing is working or not. There you go. Now I have got all my files and everything. Save this image and bring it back to uh, my file, my you know like uh, my gallery. So that's that's pretty amazing. That finally uh, iPad is supporting this. So 5G project which I actually did, and in this 5G project, if you have seen this before, I can now actually see through everything before I even transfer. The question is, everybody stops on that. Can I transfer something from here to my uh, external hard drive? Now that is a very big question because reading something and uh, getting something is totally different. So I've got project backups out here, zip file. So let's, hold on a second, I've got project files, select. If I select this and I move and uh, I take this to, there you go. I can actually now, enter out here and copy so i can now transfer my stuff from my ipad directly to an external hard drive and do not need anything else so the gates are finally open so that was our hard drive section and hard drives are now readable 
doesn't matter what you have done to it make sure you guys are formatting your hard drives to xfat format again xfat format if you guys do not know how to do that i have a link at the top below click on that watch the whole tutorial of how to format a drive for macbook pro and windows at the same time so mac os and windows you can format them i'm using a logitech bluetooth mouse go to your settings and then after that go to accessibility when you go to accessibility go all the way to touch and then go to assistive touch and turn on assistive touch once you turn on assistive touch your mouse you press the bluetooth button out here just the bluetooth button out here you will you will be able to pair up your mouse that's how easy it is but you'll be like hey i need to connect to like bluetooth right yeah so for that pointing devices and after that you can do go to connected devices so my bluetooth is already connected if you want to search for some click out here and you will your bluetooth mouse should pop out out here okay so you'll be good on that and then you have to uh, add some custom uh, functions to make sure to understand like what is the left click and the right click is going to do and that's pretty much self explanatory and you guys can always do that so that's not a big deal so that's how you are going to add mouse features on your iPad it's way more faster and easier and thank you apple for doing this after a long long time i think because we pushed uh, everybody and that is the reason it is happening so uh, right now as you can see my workflow is very simple I can go to directly photos I can actually download and everything um, yes there is a little bit of glitch right now because I think uh, I'm using the beta version so sometimes it will glitch out but I wish I could see everything in a full screen format 16 is to 9 format while I was editing on Luma Fusion but I don't think that's gonna happen next segment is multitasking go ahead and bring your dock up and from there you can go to your mail and bring your mail on the side right and uh, now you can add more also so for example you want to bring your messages out here right hold on a sec so I bring my messages out here so I've got my messages out here and then I can actually bring my files out here also so I'll bring my files now what it does is that by clicking this button out here I can check between two uh, stuff and I can quickly toggle between messages and uh, my uh, files and folder now if I want to bring this highlight this I can actually pinch this and I can highlight this at the same time and uh, if I want to throw this I can take it to the side and then I can bring my mail back again and when I'm done I can actually swipe up and uh, I'm back to my home page so there's a lot of stuff that you can do right now uh, using the iPad OS now as you can see there is a LAN cable right and LAN usually is faster so all you need is a USB-C to a Ethernet port adapter and when you whenever you connect this you will see this let me show you whenever you see connect this you will see this Wi-Fi sign will actually go away and uh, it shows that I'm connected to the Ethernet now how are you going to notice you're gonna see this out here that's Ethernet out there so which means that now I am through a wired connection filehippo.com and this website usually doesn't open up in a lot of stuff so you can go out here google chrome for pc and you can download the latest version the good thing about this is that it automatically downloads out there on the top though i am not using this but as you can see that it thinks that this is a download for chrome for mac so it behaves like a mac os so as you can see right now this is an exact depiction of actually the Safari running desktop version not mobile version of uh, web pages alrighty guys that's it from the channel opinions matter I uh, do hope that you guys loved this video and a quick overview of what iPad OS actually holds and how it may change your life uh, in the future as you can see a lot of my videos are uh, very helpful and um, they are appreciated by my viewers and my subscribers if you have not subscribed do subscribe to the channel and uh, we are going to bring you more info in the future so take care see you again on another episode till then uh, goodbye good night and uh, yeah this ipad is made for our lives now take care